how to change the settings in your JAWS so that it can work with a refreshable Braille display. First, if you go to Options, you do that by pressing Alt-O. Alt-O, Menu, Options, Menu, Basics, dot, dot, dot. To move through items, press up or down arrow, B. Scroll down to Braille. Voices, Sub-Menu, V. Braille, dot, 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 L. Enter. Enter. Leaving menus. Braille basic settings dialog. The active Braille display is no display. Default Braille display colon combo box. No display. Two of two. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Alt plus D. We want to change the default Braille display, but first we have to add a Braille display. So we're going to tab through until we can add Braille display. Not add Braille display dot 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 button. To activate, press space bar. Alt. Enter. Select components dialog. Now there's going to be a window that pops up with a series of options you can choose from from your Braille display. I'm going to scroll down until I hear Braille API because that's the one that I'm using. Do that using the down arrow keys. Activate this Braille light left pair. Optilic Alva. SE's not check. Iris not check. EC time not check. APH ref. Bomb pronto. Bomb super. Bomb unit. Bomb. Bomb. Eco panty. Braille. Pims. Orbit. Braille. Brilliant. I not check. 20 of 30. To check it, press spacebar. Space checked. Then enter for next. Enter. Set options for the Brilliant by display. This Braille display connects through a serial USB or Bluetooth port. Select the output port. Edit combo. USB. One of one. To set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value. Alt plus P. You have the option of choosing USB or Bluetooth. I personally prefer USB. I find there's just less lag that way, so I'm going to press next. Enter. Select the Braille display that you want to use each time you start JAWS. If the Braille display does not appear in the list, choose the back button and then select the one you want to use. Primary device colon combo box. Brilliant by two of two. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Alt plus P. This is the one that I want, so I'm going to press finish. And I'm going to have to restart JAWS afterwards. Enter. JAWS Synthesizer and Braille Manager Dialog. You must restart JAWS for the changes to take effect. OK button to activate. Press space bar. Enter. Braille Basic Set. OK, in order for it to restart, I'm going to press Alt F4 just to close the windows. Then I'll use my Windows key or the start key is kind of the nickname for it to open JAWS back up. Windows F4. Sorry. Menu. Alt F4. Alt F4. Quit JAWS Dialog. Enter. Desktop. Folder. You're going to have to wait a few seconds before you restart JAWS, so maybe count to 10. Just to let you know, I'm running a trial version of JAWS, so that will pop up. So I'll press enter. If you're not running a trial version of JAWS, you won't have to do that. I'm going to use my Windows key to press JAWS. JAWS for Win JAWS Act Active Continue Enter Desktop Folder View JAWS Professional. I have to go back to the options menu, so Alt O. Alt O menu options menu basics dot, dot voices sub braille dot 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 L. Down to Braille again. Enter leaving menus Braille basic settings dialog. The active Braille display is no display. Default Braille display colon combo box brilliant by three of three. To change the selection, use the arrow keys Alt plus D. This is what I want, so press OK. Enter JAWS Professional. That's it. That should hook up to your refreshable Braille device now. It should be noted, though, you may need to change the settings in your refreshable Braille device so that way it can work through USB to connect with JAWS. Tasks. Screencast.